Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem quickly. We are looking for the real value of x. We have 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of 2x equals 10. The first step I'm going to take is bringing everything to the left. So I have 2 to the power of 3x plus 2. Okay, this is actually x plus 2 to the power of x minus 10 equals 0. But then I can work on this um, first term here so that I will have 2 to the power of x. Then I take 3 out then plus 2 to the power of x minus 10 equals 0. Now what I did here is that if you change the position of this it's still the same because you we normally multiply the powers okay. Now we have 2 to power x in two places so let y be equal to 2 to the power of x. And then here, I'm going to have y to the power of 3, plus here now the whole of this will be y, then minus 10, equal to 0. Now, let's see if I can factorize this in any way. Okay, I'm going to have y to the power of 3, then I have um, minus 4y, minus, okay, plus 5y minus 10 equals 0. Now what I have done here is to rewrite this y in this form because minus 4y plus 5y will give us y, right? And now we can group into 2 and factorize. If I factorize this 2, I'll have y out, then here y squared will be in there, then minus 4. Then on this side, I'm going to have 5 as the common factor. Then here we have y minus 5 into 10. We're going to have 2. And then this is equal to 0. Right? But at this point, we cannot say that um, the terms outside the bracket should come together because we don't have the same term in the brackets. So what I'm going to do is to work on the term in this bracket. Remember, this can still be written as y squared minus 2 squared, close this bracket, plus 5 into bracket y minus 2 equals 0. Okay, so this way I can apply difference of two squares that says a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into bracket a minus b. So I'm going to apply this same principle here so that I will have y into bracket here. Now I'm going to have y plus 2. Okay, then I will have y minus 2. Then I will close this plus 5 into y minus 2 equals 0. Now from here, what do I do? I have um, y minus 2 here and I have y minus 2 here. I can factor out y minus 2. Okay, then I will open a bracket for the others. From here now I have y into bracket y plus 2, y into y plus 2. Close this then this addition will come then I have um, 5 here because this has already come out here so I'm going to have 5 then close this this is equal to 0 now from here on the outside I have y minus 2 in there and then in the other I have I can open this bracket to get y squared plus 2y then I have plus 5 equals 0. 
now we can apply zero product rule remember it is either y minus is equal to zero or the whole of this equals zero and then y minus two equals zero meaning that y is equal to zero plus two and y is equal to two now this is one of the solutions to the problem here although this is not the original problem we'll get back to it and then let's look at this quadratic equation now so we have y squared we have y squared to be equal to okay so we have y squared plus 2y sorry plus 2y then plus 5 to be equal to 0 and then from here we cannot factorize this um, equation but we can use difference um, we can use general formula method and according to that general formula we are going to have a to be 1 b to be 2 and then the constant c is equal to 5 and the formula is this since we are having y here so it's going to be y equal to minus b positive or negative b squared minus 4ac the whole of this over 2a so what we are going to do now is to substitute into this um, the, this formula <clears throat> okay so from here y <clears throat> will be equal to we have minus b which will be minus 2 now then positive or negative b squared is going to be 2 squared then minus 4 times 1 then times 5 right and the whole of this is going to be over 2 times 1 which is the same as 2 okay so if i take a step further y will be minus 2 positive or negative then in this bracket i have 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5 will give us 20 and this is over 2 then take a step further so that y will be equal to minus 2 positive or negative okay we have 4 minus 20 and it's minus 16 and this is over 2 but remember that we are looking for the real value and remember once you have this negative square root okay negative 16 square root of negative 16 here it means that this is not going to give us a real solution therefore we will reject this okay we will reject what we have there okay and that means that the only real value for y that we have is y equal to 2 this is the real value that we have but remember when we say that 2 to the power of x is equal to y in that case 2 to the power of x will now be equal to 1 okay so it will now be equal to 2 because we have 2 on the right and then this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 1 and then from here we have the same base we can compare the, um, the powers so x should be equal to 1 and this is the value of x that satisfies the given equation but then let us try to check to know if we are right or wrong okay we are going to check it now okay so this is the original equation and we're having x to be equal to 1 now let's put this into the equation here we'll have 2 to the power of 3 times 1 plus 2 to the power of 1 okay will this give us 10 let's give it a try 3 times 1 is um, 3 so we'll have 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 because 2 to the power of 1 is 2 2 to the power of 3 is um, 8 so i'm having 8 over here then plus 2 and therefore if you add this you have 10. we can now say that x is equal to 1 
and is correct. Thank you for watching.